All right, everybody. Well, it's Erin here reporting live from my uh, weight loss journey over here. So um, I'm officially six months post-op. I've thought about doing an update video like in between, you know, here and the time I'm speaking to you right now. And I just haven't really had the urge to say anything special except for I'd been continuing what I'd been talking to you guys about throughout this journey. But um, today at six months post-op, I really feel like I have a better update for you guys. So I feel like this is better than if I would have did a little short update in between because this is like a milestone update, right? I'm six months post-op. I had my surgery June 14, 2021, the uh, gastric bypass, the RNY and uh, today is December 15th, 2021. And basically, I'm uh, I'm doing well. I'm uh, almost to 100 pounds lost. I've literally lost 98 pounds. Can you believe it? Almost 100 pounds lost in six months. I met with my doctor yesterday. I had my six-month check-in. Um, my vitamins, everything have been fine. So... I'm convinced that I'm on the right path with using the um, multivitamin that I've told you guys about and then calcium supplements. I've added some other supplements to my daily regimen. Um, I take like collagen protein now and uh, biotin, stuff that's like supposed to help your hair because uh, throughout the journey, that's the one thing that I've lost. I've uh, lost a lot of hair and uh, gained a lot of extra skin. But I'll take uh, my thin hair and my extensions over being 287 pounds any day. Today, I'm happy as I've ever been in my whole life. I feel like I'm almost living up to my potential. I'm literally at 189 pounds, point zero. 189.0 today. I started working out um, like last week. I wanted to wait till I was like exactly like 180 before I started working out because I figured, okay, I'm going to gain like 10 to 20 pounds of muscles when I beast out at the gym with all this protein I take every day. But um, nah, I just been slowly um, implementing it into my lifestyle. So like I'll take a day off here and there. So maybe I'll go like three days a week or maybe I'll go four days a week every other day. It just really depends how my schedule works because I'm really busy running my business. Right now I'm at my little shop uh, about to crank out some orders because I've got a busy weekend. But I seriously want to just say how much appreciation I have for the doctors, whoever created this process. Like I literally was lost. I tell everybody <laughs> that knew me when I was big, I was a beautiful person trapped in a big body for like years, like years, years. I haven't been this thin probably since like before high school. Even people that have known me since high school say I'm literally at the thinnest I've ever been. And I'm not done. I'm so not done. My goal is to hopefully within the next couple months, of course, because I'm losing weight like crazy, get down to like my ideal weight for my height, which I'm 5'7". I should be like 160 pounds. So that's like my real goal now. I want to be 160. Once I get to 160, then we'll fine tune things and see like if I should be something else. But I'm already ready for plastic surgery. Like I have saved money. I got money saved. I got a 401k. I got all that shit ready to cash out and uh, tell the doctors to hook it up with that Vixen body. Because, um, like I said, I got a lot of light loose skin. And uh, it's a whole nother story when you're, like, getting intimate and uh, the skin starts clapping. You're like, uh. <laughs> Yeah, so fix that. All right, that's the next goal is, like, the skin removal. But I'm going to stand up here so you guys can see me. Literally, my, my wrists, my neck, my shoulders, like, my whole body... You see that? I'm like way, like I'm thin now. I feel comfortable. And you know what's crazy? Nothing cracks anymore. None of my bones crack. My back barely hurts. I mean, it, it still hurts a little bit, I think, probably from all the years of stress I put it through. But literally, like I said, I went and got some extensions. It don't matter if you need to get a wig. Whatever you need to feel confident, you know, do it. Like, I, I, 
I saved money for so long to be able to spend money on myself when I got to this point. I didn't buy clothes for like two years because I didn't want to accept the fact that I was like literally a three X going off four X size person because I know that's that's not how I should have been. Right now I'm like at a, a good way for myself and you know, even if I was to stay this way forever, I'd be happy. But I can stay this way forever because I still got a lot more weight left in me to, to lose. So I thought I'd show you some of my products um, because I feel like these are helpful for anybody before I stand up and show you my body. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. So uh, make sure you get one of these. Literally at Bariatric Pal, they will give it to you for free when you spend so much money. And you can open it and literally just have it ready with like your multivitamin, your biotin vitamins, whatever vitamins you're having, have it in this little to-go case. Keep it with you because if you're like me, you're busy. Who knows where you're going to end up? You're going to need your vitamins still. It's a lifelong commitment. And that's the one thing. I'll take my vitamins all day. My vitamins, my protein all day, every day because I know it works. The method works. Trust the process. I promise you. Now this, baby, this is my new shit. <clears throat> see this caribbean cooler protein oh my god let me just say i fuck with this heavy it's like by syntrax they've got this they've got a mocha kind they really come with the flavors that take you away from vanilla and chocolate because let me tell you six months later i'm sick of vanilla and chocolate i mix all kinds of stuff together so this right here is bomb all right and then um, you've got your collagen powder. This is um, Reese's flavored with no sugar. Hey. Again, I get this from Bariatric Paul. Super great. Love it. Uh, this is uh, my new one because Syntax was out of the mocha. I've tried this new mocha one. And I literally, I use the, like when I use this mocha stuff, I don't use this as my primary source of protein. I use like the vanilla premier protein or the chocolate premier protein that comes in the big tube. Not the already made ones because those have milk in it and I don't like milk anymore. Ugh. Stay away from cow juices. But um, so like I use this one. So I'll use like two scoops of chocolate premier protein or two scoops of vanilla premier protein and then like a scoop or a half a scoop with this. Add some coffee into it, some blonde vanilla, Starbucks, unsweetened. Ooh, baby. Child, let me tell you, get you some uh, of that sugar-free coffee creamer. There's all kinds of flavors. That drink is bomb. That is my go-to drink. My every day I'm going to eat meal for the rest of my life, that protein shake in the morning with whatever concoction I've made for the day. And the other go-to, which... I hear a lot of people having problems with vitamin D and calcium, and uh, there's no, no, no reason. Like, I don't even chew a pill for this. I literally take this calcium citrate vitamin D supplement every day, like religiously. I don't want no bones to crack. Everybody talks about malnutrition this, malnutrition that. I will make sure I'm not malnutrition by taking the proper vitamins. And that's what everybody should do. Don't be afraid of the surgery because what somebody told you about their bad experience. I promise you everybody's experience is different. I was scared of the same things, but I was scared of dying fat or leaving my babies without me worse. You know, those fears were like worse than the fear of me dying at the surgery. If you can understand what I'm saying, like, I'd rather risk my life dying for a surgery that could save my life or, you know, I would never stay fat again. If you're big, I hate to say I call you fat, but I was fat, so I'm entitled to say that. But literally, save yourself. I wish all the women I knew growing up, all my friends as moms, everybody that was big, like I seriously meet big people. And I'm like the worst. I'm like that girl. I'm like, oh my God. They're like, you're so beautiful. And I'm like, no, you don't even know. <laughs> like I literally just lost a hundred pounds. I was invisible to the world before. And like now I get so much attention. It's like amazing. But it's also crazy because like people suck. <laughs> like I was probably a nicer, cooler person when I was big than I am now. Like now I'm, I'm like seeing it all, heard it all. 
million people are telling me I'm pretty. Everybody tells me this. Everybody tells me that. But if you treated me like shit when I was big, I'll remember that. Like, you'll never forget the way somebody made you feel. And the way some people make me feel now is great. But, like, the ones that used to treat me bad and then now they want to treat me good, like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, nobody got time for that. Okay? So... With that said, I've been running my mouth for like 10 minutes. This is like my little therapy session with anybody that wants to chime in. There's some weird girl following my YouTube channel. She's like one of my ex's like wives. So like, why are you mad at me, girl? You got married to him. We ain't even a thing. I don't care about him. Stop following me. <laughs> Sorry. But she literally is reporting everybody's comments and like hating on my page. So like if you've commented on my page, like it's I it's not that I haven't replied to you because I didn't want to or I'm rude or something like that. I promise you, like just hit me on my DM because like this little troll is seriously reporting everybody's comments. So like I'll see I get a comment on my page and then like the same day it's deleted. Like this girl is seriously monitoring me. I gotta say though, that's a hazard of losing weight. You're going to get cute. Some girls going to hate you because they used to think they were prettier than you because they had a nicer body. But then you come out with the body. So it's like, but for me, it ain't even about that. I ain't messing with nobody's husband. I actually, I recently left my husband because, uh, like I said, I've been losing weight. And that was a extra 160 pounds that I didn't need carrying around on my life. You know, sometimes, like I said, you'll remember those people that treated you bad. That person that I was with for 20 years in my life literally sabotaged me every day, all the time, always, like, trying to give me bad foods. Even after I had surgery, literally trying to get me to eat fat foods, donuts, whatever, telling me he liked the fat person better, all this stuff. Well, oh, I just want you fat again. Like, fuck you, okay? I am nobody's little science project you're not gonna like stuff me fat so that you can like take my like money and everything that I've worked my life for like just because like I thought you were like my husband like you're not gonna like get that from me like I literally like yeah my have life insurance but that's for my kids sucker this fool thought he was gonna like get me fat kill me and get some life insurance and then live off of everything I had like girl bye like you have like of all the kakamami ideas I've ever heard, like, that's your best idea? Like, no. So if you're watching this and you know that I'm out living my life, living a great life, doing my thing, just let me be. Don't worry about me because I'm not worried about you. I'm seriously worried about my protein intake, my water intake, and checking my scale every single day because the scale just keeps going down and down and down. And my, my bank accounts keep going up and up and up and up because people like my products. So if you want something, if you want to celebrate your weight loss, you want to throw that celebration on a mug, on a shirt, whatever you feel like customizing, this is my little plug. plug. Eventually, people that are tuning into my channel, they're going to see me doing some tutorial videos because while I've been losing weight, I've also been stepping up my little business over here trying to build my brand. And I'm going to have like some tutorials and stuff to add to my cooking channels. I know I've been slacking on my cooking channel, but that's because I've been trying to find who I am again with food, making a whole world, a new relationship with food. One day I'll try something and I might like it. And the next day I hate it. And I'm like, ew, I'm not posting that video because I don't even like that food anymore. So my stomach is always changing, just like my emotions, everything I'm going through, this person I'm becoming, it changes every day. But keep watching, stay tuned, follow the journey. If you haven't started the journey yet, contact your primary care provider. This is how you get started, all right? Back again to what I started this channel for was helping people get to where I'm at because this is the glory land, baby. Wonderland is where it's at, <laughs> all right? And literally, talk to your primary care doctor. Tell them you're sick of being fat and tired and exhausted and miserable and your boy bones and joints and everything in pain. Tell them what you're going through. You have to be your own advocate. Nobody else is. Tell them how you're feeling and then tell them you want bariatric surgery and then contact whatever hospital in your area is doing it. If you're in Oregon, it's OHSU. Kaiser does it. Providence. They all have a weight loss unit. Find the weight loss unit. And then tell them you want to get in and they'll tell you how to do it. And they'll walk you through the process after that. And from there, it's just you. 
don't ever let somebody tell you you took the easy way out. I promise you it's the hardest thing you've ever done in your life, but it's the most worth it. Anything that you do that can improve your life and your quality of life is worth it. And don't let ever, ever let anybody berate you and tell you that it was hard because there is nothing hard about being even a little person. Like I said, now, uh, now I'm like my size, but I was a pretty person trapped in a fat body. And now I can pass any kind of food to anybody. I don't care. I don't want it. Even if somebody swears to God, they know that I want a chicken strip from Popeye's. I might want it one time, but I haven't wanted it yet. It's just like uh, certain things you just don't eat anymore. And it's like, I haven't had rice in forever. I don't plan on having rice. Um, stick to your guns about stuff. Don't let anybody berate you. This journey is tough. It is not for the weak at heart. Let me tell you, I cried a lot. A lot of times, there's a lot of times I thought, man, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go eat something like this and try it. Nah, nah. Stick to your guns. Don't do it. And if you really must, just chew it up and spit it out. <laughs> like some of the girls in the group do. I can't say I've ever done it. But I might one time, you know, fuck it, if I really ever want something. But I can't imagine I would because literally with a taste of sugar uh, sends me to my grave. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So this is me. That's right. You see that? I mean, you can kind of get the idea. I'm a size large. Down from a 3X, 4X on some stuff. I'm not going to lie. But, um, yeah, that's right. I feel amazing. I can't believe it. I wish you all happiness and weight loss. And uh, follow me to get saucy. Check me out. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. Bye.